This has to be one of the longest grinds I've ever done on Gym League. If you guys have enjoyed the Gym League videos so far, don't forget to subscribe. When I came to the new prison gym, I had barely enough money for the two body altars. But who would have known the stone wall body altar would cost $125 million? Like what? The cost of the body altars went from $30 million to $50 million to $125 million. And we've never seen that before. I really don't know how much time I spent on doing gym competitions but i went from zero dollars to 125 million dollars in one go as you can see here i have over 11 hours of the new power-ups in the prison gym so you could tell it was a while i've been here i didn't really work out while doing the gym competition because i wanted the muscle boost you get from the stonewall body altar and after actually buying it i have a lot to say why is the most expensive body altar the most simple in gym league like i'm pretty sure it looks exactly like concrete no way it looks exactly like concrete. Whoa, wow, I did not notice that. Like, I still don't get what happened while they were making the body altars. We went from three straight anime gyms that look pretty good to this. The jumpsuit body altar doesn't even look like a jumpsuit. It's just a red skin, and I guess bars is pretty unique. You are just a bunch of metal bars, so I guess it's different from the rest. But stone wall literally looks like concrete. The next issue is right now, it's impossible to level up the stone wall body the altar even after working out for days i've yet to have one of my muscles hit one percent i'm pretty sure the main reason they're doing this is to stall everyone they do not want everyone finishing the last body altar and then disappearing so i get it but if the update wasn't ready which it clearly wasn't why release it i feel like everyone would have returned regardless even the day of the update it was delayed so we did have worrying signs pretty early on so i just trained for a decent amount of time and got my abs to 70 1.8 and i still have yet to hit one percent for my gears right now i am using the night nice shield shiny shark blade and the shiny golden lifting belt it may not be the best combination when it comes to gear boost but it's still very strong the only thing i would really have to do is replace the shiny golden lifting belt with shiny emperor horns and then i will have the best combination that is pretty much the meta now that's not even considering all the gym passes and divine weights i have as well so again it is impossible to gain total power for the current body altar i think at this point the only reason to work out is if you want to enter the top 10 in the strongest leaderboards which as you can see is kind of impossible <laughs> like even the people at the top of the leaderboards are so far ahead of everybody that even they haven't even come close to completing it i would actually love to see what percentages they have on their muscles so i think sometime this week they should fix the last body altar so it's trainable in the meantime i'm gonna do gym competitions until i have maybe one billion dollars and hopefully by then the prison gym is fixed i mean even the person you get quest from wasn't even working either besides the body alter issue we are currently having i'm also curious about the gym we also got in the description of the update it clearly states a beautiful courtyard with absolutely no danger at all like i know courtyards could be inside but if we're talking about a prison courtyard wouldn't that mean the courtyard is supposed to be outside if you were to google prison courtyards you would probably see prisoners outside lifting weights to get their exercise not typically inside i mean all they had to do was remove the roof and walls of this prison and it would be an actual prison courtyard like here's another good example the beach gym in the very first gym of gym league it is an outdoor gym which is awesome you have an entire beach with people working now and you also have a city connected to the beach to give it a more visual look like why didn't they just do this for the prison gym except instead of a city they put a basic prison right next to it they could also decorate the prison so like if you're bored of working out you could just go in and walk around you never know some people do get bored and they get curious well that was a pretty lengthy rant it's just something i was thinking about this entire time i thought the idea of a prison gym was a good idea but so far it's proving me wrong actually wait i have one more complaint why is it harder now to win divine weights from the fortune spin the divine weights went from one percent to 0.5 percent which made it so much harder to get like i've read stories where people said they have spent over 350 spins and have yet to even come close to winning them i'm not really sure how credible those stories are but i can actually believe them because it took me a little bit of time even with the one percent but that wasn't the only change either to the fortune spin mega potions went from five to three when you win them in the spin that one was kind of weird because these spins are pretty expensive on my main account i think in a video i earned over 120 mega 
Mega Potions, I believe. Yeah, I did buy a lot of spins just to earn the Divine Weights and Bloodborne Aura, but I'd imagine it's way worse for those who are trying to get them now. And I think for the new Stonewall Body Altar, you need every potion, every power-up from the shop possible to even reach 100% completion. And this includes Mega Potions. So if you were to have just enough Mega Potions and power-ups for this grind, it may take over 20 days to complete, possibly even 25. So I'm hoping they fix the last body altar because if my minute account is struggling, oh boy, my free to play account might as well quit right now. Honestly, if I was a regular free to play player and not making videos, I can see why someone would quit and never come back. The grind is just too long to make it even worth trying to complete, but I will release an update to my free to play account soon. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to reach the stonewall body altar as fast as possible. So if you are feeling discouraged, you are not the only one. On my main account, I have the Nice Shield, the Shiny Shark Blade, and the Shiny Golden Lifting Belt, Divine Weights, and every Muscle Gym Pass. And I'm not even putting a dent into the total power needed to complete the Stonewall Body Altar. If you manage to reach and unlock the Stonewall Body Altar, I think it's in your best interest to forget about training and just do gym competitions. Farm money and power-ups while at the same time doing the basic gear crate. This would be the best time to start getting the best gears in the game. If you don't plan on buying the Nice Shield, you can try getting the Shiny Shark Blade, Shiny Championship Bell, and Shiny Emperor Horns. Those are pretty much the meta free-to-play gears. So while you wait for the creators of Gym League to fix the last body altar, this should be the best way to spend your time. I just don't like the fact it costs $145,000 to do one basic gear crate because that complicates things. But oh well, we're already here and don't have much more to do. I actually might farm the basic gear crate and try to get a thousand items before trying to do trade-ups. I think that would be an interesting video to see, I'm not gonna lie. In my community tab, I spoke about creating a Discord because eventually, as I said in previous videos, I will love to stream Roblox every single day. There are days often I play for up to 10 hours a day and many of you guys ask me what do I do and how do I do certain things. If I stream, you can pretty much see what I do every minute of the day and even ask questions live. So yeah, I think that would be a pretty cool thing to experience. Eventually, Gym League would end for me because it's headed to a direction where we have to wait a month just for one major update. So in between that, I need to find other games I can create content. The Discord will help me find what everyone is playing and maybe I can even also play the same games and create series. As I said before, I like doing challenges, so trying new games and then asking you guys what is the hardest thing to do in a specific game would be something I definitely would try and hopefully be successful. But streaming is a little bit down the road because I still need to meet a personal threshold on the account. At first, I wanted to stream at around the 10k mark, but then I decided maybe the 50k mark would be better. By then, I would have a much more active community and one that is willing to give me feedback, whether negative or positive. I do love feedback and I usually read every single comment left on YouTube. And sometimes you guys have good video ideas and I sometimes use them to inspire me to make a video. Alright, I've been yapping too much. I think I'm going to end it here. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.